Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making two beautiful resin trays with dried and pressed flowers. I start off by going through my notebook, and these are some flowers that I've left to press for a couple of weeks, so they're nice and dry by now, and I just take out the flowers and place them on the table so that I'm easily able to use them. And I start to mix my part A and part B resin together. I separate it into a smaller cup where I'll be adding in some white pigment and I'm using just resin's titanium white. I'll leave a link in my description with a discount if you'd like to try out just resin. After my pigment is mixed in well, I start to pour into my trays. and I use a silicone makeup brush to help push the resin to the edges. I'll have links to all of the products that you see in this video in my description, so be sure to check that out. And I have this stitching of hummingbirds, which is really cute, and I've been wanting to use it for a while. And I have two of them, so I'm placing one into each tray. Then I take out the rest of my dried and pressed flowers and slowly start to add them into the tray. I like to first start off by adding some greenery and then slowly add in my flowers. Using a thin wooden stick is a great help to make some adjustments and move their placements around and also add in the flowers into the tray. Personally, I think the easiest way to dry flowers is to press them into notebooks and place a heavy item on top and leave it for a few weeks so that it's properly dried. Some flowers dry better than others, so it's really a case of trial and error when finding out what type of flowers to dry. I found these cute little ladybugs at a craft store and I carefully added them into the trays using tweezers. Then I add in some purple tinted shattered glass pieces. Then I came back the next day once this first layer has hardened. And I have these little bee and flower stickers that I added in as well. Thank you. 
I decided I didn't really like the dark flower that is in the corner of each tray, which has dried brown. So I tried to lighten it a bit using some paint. Then I mixed in my resin once more to seal everything in. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.